Yo, what's going down? It's the number one Titan fan. You know, your host over here on My World Now for, you know what I'm saying, just checking in on everybody. How y'all doing, people? Um, you know, of course, I got the Titan Blue. It's coming in lines, but that blue is still in there thick, baby. Uh, got a question for you right now. I just wanted to know, all, you know, to all the viewing people that's watching. Uh, one question. This is sports related, too. One question. How are you going to compare LeBron James to Michael Jordan? That's like your traditional comparing to oranges and apples, man. You know, period. You know, Mike is definitely still the best, regardless of what anybody says. You know, I know there was um, this little thing on Sports Center where they basically were saying, you know, that LeBron. Is, is is like even comparable to him. I don't even think he's he's even comparable to him, you know. Michael Jordan once again is in the class by himself. So stop comparing him to everybody. All the come ups in the game, you know, including LeBron and, and I guess this kid that's gonna get ready to come into the draft, you know, this this new sensation or whatever. You know, they did the same thing with Derrick Rose and all that. LeBron come on. No one compares to Michael Jordan. Money-wise, athletic-wise, nothing. You might as well cancel it, you know. Mike is in a whole world by himself. You know, you can't even, you can't even uh, basically uh, reach his Nike shoe status deals, you know. They've grossed alone over $100 million, you know. LeBron, you know, he's on the same thing with Nike and all that, but at the same time, it's no contest. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to kill that. Ain't no way you're going to compare Michael and LeBron. You know, Michael is in a, in a class by itself. There's no comparison to that, you know. And as far as athletics, you know, I seen one thing where they, um, I don't know if it was computer imagery or whatever, because I never seen them, you know with each other face to face they had Michael and LeBron face to face Michael would have swept them period point blank no competition you know LeBron don't get me wrong that kid is nice and he's gonna win about three or four or five or six or seven or eight more rings you know uh, basically more than Mike but at the same time Mike was in a class by himself you cannot beat him any way possible, you know, except for that little shake and bake that Allen Iverson gave him one time when he was playing, but anyway, I won't even go there, you know, Allen's dope too, but he still can't beat Mike, but at the same time, like I said, Mike is in a class by itself, happy 50th birthday to Mike, of course, you know, I think they say he turned 50 or whatever, I don't know, but um, happy birthday to him, and at the same time, though, like I said, back to this question, ain't no comparison. My boys in the class, I grew up watching them, you know. I just, you know, I just, I look at him in awe. And, and I still, you know, as I see him on TV now, I still look at him in awe. Like, like he could just play right now if he wanted to. You know, he can just strap on his, you know, uh, strap on his laces or whatever, you know. And, and his whole basketball gear thing or whatnot, go out there on the court and just whoop everybody, you know. But that's just me. I'm a Mike fan. I've been I've been that since day one. Chicago Bulls all the way number one, you know, when Mike when Mike was playing, of course. But anyway, like I said, you know, I'm not gonna hold you guys up, but Michael Jordan number one always and forever, you know. Period. Point blank. Six rings, you know. It might have took him six years to get it or whatever. But when he when he got his first, the other ones came so easily. It was no competition, period. You know, the Bulls were like just, you, you know, they were uncomparable. They had an elite class of players with them. You know, Rodman, Pippen, Kerr, Kukoc, all the class. Cause he had a nice combination with him. Phil knew what he was doing. That's why Phil is definitely my number one coach. But at the same time, you know, like I said, you know, uh, without the leader, which is Michael, the coach would be nothing. You know, he couldn't win any rings without Mike. But, you know, that's just my my thinking of that whole thing. But anyway, uh, no chance, no way. It ain't going to happen. Mike will always be number one. LeBron, you number two. But Mike will always be number one in my heart. And, and I'm thanking everybody else's heart. You know, everybody else's heart is watching right about now, whatever. But 
you know, uh, go Mike, much power to you, nothing but love, boy, uh, you know what I'm saying, Scoot Dizzle, my world thankful, uh, peace out, much love, yo.